Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. February 29th is a very special day because it only appears on the calendar once every four years or so. But why does this happen? Well, of course, it all comes down to astronomy. See, a year isn't actually 365 days. It's just under 365 and a quarter. But what exactly is a day? You learned in school that a day is the time it takes for the Earth to rotate once on its axis. But with respect to what? In order to define something's motion, it always must be measured relative to something else. Let's say we measured the Earth's rotation with respect to the Sun. So we start counting as soon as the Sun is highest in the sky and then stop counting when it reaches that point a second time. This 24-hour period is called a solar day and it's what we base our clocks off of. But what if we measured the Earth's rotation with respect to some distant stars instead? Interestingly, this day, which we call a sidereal day, only takes 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. But why the difference? Well, for demonstration purposes, let's leave the Earth for a moment. Whoa. Okay, now we're here. There is a massive arrow sticking out of the Earth right now. How beautiful. For the Earth to rotate a full 360 degrees and end up with the arrow pointing back at those distant stars, it takes one sidereal day. But during that time, the Earth moved a little bit in its orbit around the Sun, so the arrow is no longer pointing in that direction. For that to happen, the Earth needs to rotate a little bit more, which takes about four minutes. So a solar day is about four minutes longer than a sidereal day, and consequently, stars rise four minutes earlier every night. So now we can define the year that we use for our calendars. A tropical year, or the time it takes to go through all the seasons, is 365.242 solar days. That means every four years we have just under one extra day, so we simply add another one at the end of February. But by doing so, we added too much time and now we're a little ahead, so every 100 years we don't have a leap year to make up for us overcompensating. But then that means we're behind again, so every 400 years we add another day in to fix that mistake. And meanwhile, all the other leap years are happening. And if we want to get even weirder, a sidereal year is 20 minutes longer than a tropical year. That's because the Earth's axis precesses, meaning it spins like a top. And if we use this for our calendars, eventually all the seasons would be shifted around a few months. And unless you live in the southern hemisphere, snow in August is not okay. So anyway, when in doubt, just remember that every four years, it'll probably be a leap year. So just enjoy the extra day, and leave me a comment letting me know how you're gonna spend it. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, my name is Blocko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.